what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we are going to discuss on the transit of venus in the fiery sign of aries yes 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 26th i guess venus is going to enter the fiery sign of aries so the question is why are we discussing uh, the transit of such small planets here yes by small i mean uh, they uh, those planets which change the signs very fast like venus sun or mercury i have already made the video for april and i'm going to upload the video for may also but uh, i will explain why this transit is very important okay so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then before venus enters aries please subscribe to it <laughs> and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments i will put it in the waiting list because there are so many videos which you have requested me to make so everything every video will come out one by one all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him in the sign of aries <laughs> okay so what's the sign of aries as uh, James Brahasar had spoken about this in his interview, which I had uploaded. I don't know if that part I have uploaded yet, but he says about this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He already says about this, the sign of detriment, which means when a planet is placed opposite to the house uh, where, the, where it rules the sign. So, for example, Venus rules Libra, as we all know. It's the Multricone sign, and it also rules Taurus. So, for venus the signs opposite to taurus and libra yes uh, those becomes the sign of detriment so opposite to taurus is scorpion opposite to libra is the sign of aries so what happens is when the planet sits in exactly the opposite house then it is known as the house of detriment it's called that the planet sits in its detriment or as they say in debilitation yes this is something new which uh, i learned so, uh, what does this mean? Well, before discussing on that, let's discuss on something else which is happening. So, now this mars Saturn conjunction is happening about which I already made the video. So, if you have not watched it, then please go and watch it. And I also made the video on uh, Saturn's retrogression and also on uh, Jupiter's retrogression. And so, what's happening is now, Mercury is also retrograde, as we all know. It's retrograde in the sign of Pisces, yes. So, Pisces is the original 12th house and it is the sign of debility for Mercury. So, Sun is also there. Yes, till 15th, I guess. Till 15th April, Sun will also be in the sign of Pisces. So, now what's happening is, uh, from the three uh, slow-moving planets, I mean, Moon is the slow, uh, so sorry, the three fast-moving planets, I mean, Moon is the fastest, but if you take Sun, Mercury, Venus, uh, two of them are in the dreamy, dreary sign of Pisces. <laughs> And Venus, the planet of love, romance, comfort, beauty, sexuality, is in the fiery sign of Aries. And that too, it's in detriment. Yes. And then we have this Mars-Saturn conjunction, which is happening in the sky. And that too, Jupiter is also retrograde. It's chaos everywhere. Mercury retrograde. So, I don't know if this video will be finished before I uh, uh, finish speaking. So, now what happens is, see, uh, these three planets. Now, Moon will keep changing from every nakshatra to the other every day, right? So, it's not very practical to speak about Moon, but we can speak on Sun, Mercury and Venus because uh, they represent the lively forces within that month, yes, wherever they are transiting. So, when we see that uh, they are transiting in the sign of Pisces, which Venus was transiting since first week of March till the 26th of March, yes. So, then what happened was Venus was in its exaltation. It was with Mercury, which was debilitated. So, this is in astrology a special combination called as Nij Bhanga Raj Yoga. Yes. So, Nij Bhanga means uh, the debility of a planet gets uh, less due to, uh, due to certain factors. And there are many factors for Nij Bhanga. One of the factors is if the planet which gets exalted in that sign, which is Venus, because Venus gets exalted in Pisces, if that planet also sits with Mercury, then that debility is reduced. Now, some people say that the debility is cancelled, but that's not true, yes, which doesn't mean that it cannot get cancelled. Uh, if there are other benefits aspecting that planet, then also the debility can reduce, or if the ruler of that sign also sits there, then also the debility can reduce, but it doesn't mean that the debility is totally cancelled. So, now what happens is, when Mercury is in Pisces, we see that 
there is this confusion around our communication yes we don't know what to speak basically because pisces is the sign of confusion as we know now this is not necessarily bad but for mercury it can cut a sorry figure sometimes so now when venus was also there in pisces what happened was this debility was reduced which does not mean that our communications uh, became more crisp more sharp more intelligent it simply meant that when venus was also there it's like we try to understand that the communications may not be that perfect yes because venus in pisces means there's acceptance there's adaptability yes so even if somebody would say something which was unexpected we would not behave in ways which we should not behave but now when mercury is still there in pisces for two months it will be there till may first week yes but now venus is not there yes now venus has gone to aries so then what happens is uh, then this mercury retrograde can affect us and now this is related to the transit of venus into aries how is this related so now see sun is also there in pisces mercury is also there in pisces yes now what's happening is there are two planets for now you forget about the debility of mercury just take mercury and sun so these two planets are in the sign of pisces so there is uh, among these three planets which are fast moving yes so there is one part of us which is trying to be in the outer world yes or in the other world as they say na pisces or we are trying to be spiritual not spiritual uh, essentially uh, all the times so it can be we are trying to uh, escape through certain things yes and then now the other the third planet which is also very fast which is venus has gone to the fiery sign of aries so this means that some part of us i mean for the current transits till sun also enters aries yes till the time sun also enters aries till the time 15th one part of us is trying to put our one foot in the uh, reality and the other foot in illusion yes illusion or something which uh, we can uh, only understand yes or conceive of but we can't see in reality which is pisces but uh, now venus has entered aries yes so now venus is the planet of love romance and then when it enters aries it becomes very fiery yes because it's a very tamasic sign aries is a very 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 tamasic sign it has a lot of anger and a lot of initiation and a lot of as in hindi they say josh <laughs> because it's the original first house of the body if th there's no vitality in the body then how this will happen so now to be uh, to cut the long story short what ha what can happen is we can become very impulsive and then later we regret why did we do that because remember two planets are in the sign of pisces yes and this impulse can also be fueled yes by the conjunction of mars and saturn which is happening in the sign of sagittarius this can lead to situations where we wanted to speak something but we ended up speaking something else yes or it can happen that we wanted something from our partner we didn't get it and then we are frustrated and we try to fight back we try to prove that we are right because aries is me right it's the first house we yes i myself i me and mine and then mercury is debilitated so the communication will be affected jupiter is retrograde that to in nakshatra like vishakha so there's uh, there's a lot of confusion which is going on on what is right what is wrong what should we speak what should we not speak and then mars saturn conjunction is there which shows confusion in the areas of practical action confusion not in the sense of uh thinking and uh, sitting what to do or not to do that can happen because of mercury but mars saturn also gives confusion in the areas of not seeing results sometimes yes we may think that oh we have done this but where are the results so the results are not coming so basically how this energy can uh, affect us is one side venus is very fiery which wants to do a lot of things and then the other side sun mercury is still in the dreamy world yes so we are confused because of mercury and then when it comes to venus we want to take very strict action and this is coupled by the retrogression of jupiter and saturn mars conjunction yes and as if this was less rahu is also in cancer <laughs> to add the icing on the cake so basically the point which i want to stress in this video is that we need not we need not should i repeat we need not act on our impulses till the time venus goes to taurus because 
at least then sun will be in aries yes then then the major part of this energy which is sun venus that will shift to aries yes then also that this mercury's uh, debility will act but then at least sun will be in aries so then th this uh, this will be much of a stronger combination i mean the aries energy will be much strong but now when sun is also there in the sign of pisces and when only one planet is there and coupled with all the other things about uh, transits which i said recently yes about jupiter saturn mars uh, vishakha and mula and purvashada and all this it can lead to a tremendous confusion or on areas like should we act or should we not act yes so uh, simply we should uh, not act we should see what is right and wrong and we should avoid being too much fatalistic or too much judgmental or we should avoid trying to be too much opinionated yes then what happens because this can happen when uh, planets like mars saturn are there in the sign of sagittarius so it can happen that we are too much bogged up with what we think is right or what we think is wrong so in those lines we need to be careful that we do not throw our judgments on others okay so basically that's what i wanted to say and uh, this can affect particularly the areas of relationships because now venus is moving ahead of sun so it's like the most powerful thing in the sky now because it is leading the entire uh, planetary uh, alignment yes i mean apart from moon of course so now venus is leading sun uh, and mercury also so th this basically means that now whatever uh, whichever sign venus is transiting that sign will become activated earlier yes because it will reach before sun so we can have a tendency to act regarding that sign yes pertaining to venus which is relationships and especially if you are a taurus or a libra ascendant then this tendency will be much more because your ascendant lord is going there and sun which is the significator of your soul is somewhere else in the sign of exaltation of venus so this can be a good energy uh, to focus on our spirituality and act on our uh, will yes i mean de depending on what we want to do what is right or wrong but at the same time this can become a bit uh, we need to take a bit caution regarding this so that we do not blast on our loved ones or we do not blast on people who uh, may say us later that why did you speak those words yes and that these uh, communication problem can happen more because mercury is also in debility yes and that it is retrograde now they say if the planet is retrograde and it is debilitated it behaves as if it is exalted which simply means that now when mercury is in pisces generally it's debilitated but when it's retrograde mercury becomes very introspective it thinks why is it not able to make any decision so then it can make some decision sometimes yes but still retrogression is instability and debility is also not a great placement so even if uh, it is acting as if it is in virgo but it is not like a mercury which is in virgo all right so that is it from my side that is what i wanted to say that we need to take precautions that uh, we do not speak or act in ways which are bad and because two planets are there in pisces so we ourselves will regret later that why did we speak those words yes so it should not happen that we are unnecessarily uh hurting people around yes especially venus our loved ones all right so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and some of you have asked me when will i upload the third and fourth part of james bra's video that i'll be uploading the next saturday and sunday or maybe friday and saturday or maybe friday and sunday <laughs> but you will get it by the next weekend okay let the anticipation prevail <laughs> okay uh, wish you good luck and i hope you had a great ram nomi festival all right so i don't know what's the what's the next festival coming it is nursing devs appearance i guess nursing chaturdashi is coming so i'll make more videos on nursing chaturdashi also okay and how nursing dev is related to the planet mars okay wish you good luck bye bye see you